Hi everybody, Charlie here from Raptorium. Quick video guide to go along with our official guide on setting up a smart node. If you're reading this, listening to this, it means you're interested in joining us and setting up a smart node, I salute you. Welcome. I'll be using a script here for the smart node uh, setup on your server. It was written by DK808. It's a Discord community member. Uh, he did a great job uh, setting up while writing the, the script for the smart node side of things. Um, so for that, to use that script, we first need to uh, set up our collateral and uh, pay our collateral and set up our ProTX command. So we do that on our local wallet. Uh, as soon as you have your Raptorium wallet already uh, installed and synced up, if you haven't, then uh, you need to do that before you uh, continue with the guide and setting up your smart node. So the first thing we want to do is send our collateral. So we'll create a new receiving address. A little better grammar. All right, request payment. Copy that address and we're gonna send it right away. Uh, currently on testnet, um, collateral is 9,000 RTM. This is obviously going to change on on mainnet and maybe even our next phase of testnet. So it works for now, for the moment, but uh, make sure to keep an eye on this guide, maybe bookmark it or something, and uh, it'll be updated with uh, our collateral and our stepping. I have it listed in here. Yeah, here you can see it. Oh, this is for testnet. I'll up Update this as things change. All right, so let's send that collateral. All right, double click it. That's our transaction. You can see it's unconfirmed. Uh, before we can run our ProTX command, well, first we need to build it, but also this transaction needs to have 15 confirmations. I mean, uh, we do have instant send, but uh, for for collateral, uh, 15 confirmations are needed. So, in this, we need the transaction ID. Copy it. Also, pay attention to the output index. These two things are in our uh, our ProTX command, which I'm going to show you now. Here's our ProTX quick setup command. Oh, we need to copy the uh, transaction ID. And also it's set to 1 on the index. We just saw it's 0. Uh, here is your server IP that you'll be running your smart node on. And here is the port. This will change for mainnet as well, and uh, I'll update the, the guide. Not this video guide, but the, the text guide for this. This is your address. Uh, all this address is, is an address in your wallet that has enough Raptorium on it to pay the transaction that the ProTX quick setup command, just like a regular transaction in your wallet. It's in very small, uh, 0 0.000. Here you can see some other transactions and how small it is. So you just need an address that has a tiny bit of Raptorium on it to cover it. It can have 10,000 Raptorium, it can have just a minute amount. So. Let's open our uh, debug console. List address balances. And uh, pick one that has funds on it. You can see it lists them all there. So uh, Don't pick one that, if you've set up multiple uh, smart nodes and you're getting, you know, you're few into it, if it says 9,000 like this one, then it's probably locked. It's a uh, smart note payment, or collateral, I should say. All right, there's definitely enough on that one. Let's take that. Okay, our ProTX quick setup is, uh, it's all constructed now, it's good to go. Now, this has not confirmed yet. We need to wait for 15 confirmations. 
Uh, we're running two minute block times on testnet. So I take, you know, about a half hour for uh, your 15 confirmations. I'll go ahead and pause this for now and I'll come back once I have those confirmations and we'll continue. Oh, sorry for the flash on my desktop there. All right, so we should have 15 confirmations now. There we go. Open the debug console. Be ready to fire our ProTX uh, quick setup command. Just hold on a second, I need to change that song. Terrible song. All right, so here we go. Cross your fingers and hit enter. And apparently it doesn't like it. And I see the reason why. I forgot to change the uh, collateral index number from uh, 0 to 1, so we're all good. Okay, so we're, what we're interested here in is the operator secret. Because when we run the script on the, the VPS, it's going to ask for that. So record that. Text editor, whatever. Also, uh, it creates a, a config file here. You can see the location. Uh, if you were to run a manual setup, uh, all, all the settings, all this information is uh, saved in this location and that would be used to uh, set up your, your smart node config on your VPS if you were not using the script. But since we're using the script, we don't need that. All right, so we're already logged in. Uh, I'm already logged in here to uh, the VPS I'm using for this. It's already uh, updated. And so now we need to just add a, a pseudo user that can run the script. If you try to run the script as root, it's just gonna exit. It's not gonna let you do it. It's a security thing, but... Uh, so let's add a user. Meatball sounds good. Love meatballs. All right, now we need to add that new user to the, the pseudo group. He now has root power, so let's change to him. Sue Meatball just sounds wrong. Who would sue a meatball? But there we go. So let's run that script. It's posted here in the guide. Thank you, DK808, for the script. Really an awesome little script. The guys over at uh, Alt Tank uh, Discord are, they kick ass, honestly. Uh, great bunch of guys. Uh, swap file, 
I recommend you create this. Um, if you run out of RAM on your your VPS and on mainnet, uh, a VPS won't even be enough. You're going to need a dedicated server, and you don't want anything crashing your service crashing your daemon crashing that's going to mean that you uh, get set back in the payment queue so yes create one if your system runs out of ram for whatever reason that swap file it's going to fall back on it it's going to slow down but uh, it shouldn't crash unless something's terribly wrong all right so here's the the key we recorded the private key Uh, just a note about the bootstrap when the chain is smaller uh, let's say under a hundred thousand blocks uh, it's probably just as fast just to let it sync normally actually maybe even past that but anyways uh, like I said the script is by DK808 and the bootstrap he maintains it himself which is awesome and uh, he provides it and this is where this this script pulls it from but it's not verified by us and uh, we don't we can't support it because we're not going to keep track of it and check every time he takes a snapshot of the chain uh, on mainnet uh, when the chain gets bigger we'll supply a uh, an official repository that's signed and everything so it can be verified as good and stuff but that being said so just a note here it's again not something that's checked by us uh, I trust DK zero eight. I have no, wouldn't have a problem to use it, but just so you're aware, I'm gonna let it sync normally. Uh, this is gonna shut down all the ports except what's needed by the node itself and to SSH into it. Uh, I definitely recommend you do this unless you have like a you know a hardware uh, firewall or some other you know you have a reason for not doing it so fail to ban will keep the kitties and the bots from uh, brute forcing your ssh service port that'll be uh, the only one besides a wallet that's open and your wallet port is password protected Uh, the script generates a very strong password and username, so they can hit it, they're, they're not going to get in. As part of the script, it's waiting for the, the blockchain to sync. Um, it can take 10, 12 minutes at this point, the chain's pretty small, but uh, I'm not going to make you uh, watch this super exciting screen for that time so I'm gonna pause this and I'll come back once this is uh, the script completes and show you what's next okay so there we go that script is uh, completed it waits a couple of minutes and then it displays uh, its current progress Uh, which was 16 blocks. Sorry about that. For some reason my uh, video capturing program decided to freeze up on the side there Block 16. I think uh, testnet's around 21,000 blocks. So obviously there's some time to go And here it just tells you basic information about uh, how to use it after the script it's the script installs it as a service so it makes it less typing, less messing around for you. If you have to reboot, uh, hopefully you're doing regular uh, updates on your your smart node server and you know if you have a kernel update or something you have to reboot. Uh, uh, the Raptorium is wallet is installed, well daemon is installed as a service so it's just gonna restart when you restart your uh, your server.
Just trying to check to see where it's at for uh, the block down here. For whatever reason, it's decided to take its time. Ah, uh, 80. So, yeah, it's still packing the blocks in. Like I said, uh, I have 21,000 to go. Well, probably 20,000 to go. Um, the the ProTX command that we had it created a transaction on the blockchain. So your smart node can't be ready until uh, the blockchain is synchronized up until the point at least where the transaction was included in a block. So uh, if it's only at 80, we have a ways to go. But uh, this is a command that you use to check the smart node status and see what's happening. And uh, yeah, I completely screwed that up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Too busy talking. There we go. So waiting for ProTX means it's waiting for, uh, like it says, waiting on chain for it to appear. We're only at 80 blocks. And uh, when we fired the command, yeah, we were at probably 21,700 something blocks. So as the way it is to go, I'd, it would probably take another uh, 10 or 15 minutes for it to fully sync up. And once uh, that happens, the state and status that you see here will both change to active. And then you know your smart node is ready to go, it's functioning, and uh, that's all there is to it. If you ever have any problems or you need support, help, whatever, our Discord is very active. We have uh, a great community on there, people willing to help out. I'm always there, I'm of course always happy to help you out, so I hope this guide helped you out. and. Uh, I hope your smart node does well for you and I hope to see you on our Discord. Thank you for watching.